Hi, welcome to another episode of Medicine Simplified. Today we will know how tongue is developed. Development of tongue starts at the end of fourth week of intrauterine life. Tongue develops in the floor of developing mouth. From first, second, third and fourth pharyngeal arches. Here is the image of pharyngeal arches. Pharyngeal arches 1, 2, 3 and 4 play important role in developing of tongue. At the end of fourth week of intrauterine life, a small triangular swelling appears called tuberculum impar. After appearance of tuberculum impar, two lateral swelling develops one on each side, also called as lingual swellings. Lingual swellings and tubercular impar develop from first and second pharyngeal arches. As you can see in this image, there is a tubercular impar and two lingual swellings. And you can see there is a hypobranchial eminence with cranial part and caudal part. Caudal that is lower to tubercular impar, another swelling develops called as hypobranchial eminence or Copula. Copula is divided into cranial part and caudal part. Large cranial part of copula develops from third arch and caudal part from fourth arch. Foramen cecum lies between tubercular impar and copula. Two lingual swellings overgrow tubercular impar and merge with each other to form anterior two third of tongue. The line of fusion of two lingual swellings in medial line form median sulcus. Posterior one third of tongue develops from cranial part of copula. The line of fusion of anterior two third and posterior one third of tongue is called sulcus terminalis. The tubercular impar does not form any structure of tongue. Caudal part of copula forms posterior most part of tongue and epiglottis. Muscles of tongue develop from myoblasts that migrate into developing tongue from occipital myotums. The development of taste buds on lingual epithelium occurs at 8th week and completes by 11th week. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.